Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 2. Today is episode number 11. If you guys do enjoy the content, then be sure to leave a like, as it really does help with the YouTube algorithm at the moment. Feel free to subscribe, drop a follow on Twitch, and hopefully you enjoy the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Alright, so we're here taking part in the Young Guns Showdown. This is Civic versus Golf. Uh, we're going to be taking the Golf GTI Mark V. Uh, and I believe this one I've put an upgrade on for four-wheel drive. I didn't think this was four-wheel drive stock. Uh, starting off with Suzuka Circuit, moving on to Sunset Peninsula, and then going on to my second favorite track, Miguelo Autodromo Internazionale. All right, here we go. We are starting off Tsukuba Circuit with a Golf GTI. <laughs> Yeah, something tells me this definitely has an upgrade because there's no way a Golf GTI can pull away that quickly. Okay, six laps. Let's go. I have an unstable bank balance as well at the moment. Oh no, that's no good. Meow. Uh, I need to put deep on by uh, example and bow. Such a good song. Well, it's stuck in my head. Proper stuck in my head. Good bit of sub focus in it. Is this sub focus? Oh, this is a Wilkinson? Oh no, it is sub focus, just a Wilkinson remix. Never mind. Boom, 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 boom. I've now got two less than 2.1 terabytes left on my archive drive. Or my recording drive, whatever you want to call it. Woohoo! Imagine driving in a focus right now to achieve true focusness. Yes. I'd love to drive in a focus. Do you know what I'd love to do? As like part of my bucket list. I would love to... I wouldn't be able to do it. So I'd have to have someone who knew like where they were going. But I'd love to be in the passenger seat, pa passenger seat of a rally car as it's going across a rally stage. 20 kilometers in whatever country, Wales, wherever, but just absolutely ripping it down these dirt roads, going over jumps, everything. I would love to be a passenger. Uh, it's not Friday, it's Saturday, the cruise is. Uh, and it probably won't be a focus only cruise. We'll be, um, we are, it'll probably be the same format where we're constantly swapping cars. We'll swap every stint. We'll have a stint where we'll do Ford focuses only. I think I'll write that down as one of my to do stints, and then we'll do our random stints afterwards. Because I think, I think we're going to start off with, um, German cars. Because we're going to have the cruise car with the cruise livery. Um, that's a really good, that's actually a really good one, Aaron. Oh, I've gone wide. 
Um, yeah, so we'll probably start off the cruise session in German cars. Move over to... I think we were going to do a hypercar stint. Uh, and then Ford focuses. And then I'm thinking... For like a fourth and final like set vehicle. I'm thinking maybe... Um, Skylines. Nissan Skylines only. So an R30, R31, R32, R33 or R34. If they're in the game that is. I really hope the R31's in there because I will be picking that. I love the R31. It's my... If I could own any classic car, the R31 Skyline is my classic car of choice. Not bad. Pretty much slap bang five minutes on the timer there. All right, here we go. Let's get going. Let's get ready, ready. Let's get ready, ready. Let's get ready to rumble. Let's go. Oh. Started turning in a tad too early there. By the way, tomorrow is the final upload for Forza Motorsport 1. Um, and then on Wednesday, when we do our next Forza Motorsport 2 live stream, the first episode of Forza Motorsport 2 will actually go live. I've got quite a b backlog. This is technically episode 11 that we're recording right now. So, it's always good to have a backlog because it means that I can take a break when I feel like it's getting too much. Especially when work starts, if work does start. My son asked me to stop singing Oasis songs in public. I said, maybe you're gonna be the one that saves me. And after all... You're my wonder wall. Whoa, that was way too close. I did not like that. Yeah, you made a big mistake telling me that joke, Aaron. Because you made me break out into song. Oh yeah, Hans, he's definitely been pulling jokes from Google. He pulls jad jokes. Roasts, pickup lines, all sorts of stuff from Google and sends it in chat. Sometimes you, uh. Sometimes it does get a bit boring. <laughs> I think that's going to become a new torture method. If the, um. Any American agency wants to torture someone, they'll just get uh, Aaron to send millions of dad jokes at them. That'll get anyone talking. Not bad. Why can I smell hot dogs? The oven's off. There's no food, but I can smell hot dogs in this room. It's probably that plate of pizza that I've left there. It's got pepperoni on it, so it's probably that that I can smell. Goddamn pizza. I love pizza. Okay. Questionable topic. I know people are going to hate me. Pineapple on pizza, does it belong? My opinion is yes, but in small quantities. So... A lot of people that put <laughs> Laters. No, um, what was I going to say? Uh, what's it called? Pineapple and pizza is okay. But only in small quantities. You don't want um, a crap ton of it. <laughs> Dumped on in one go. <laughs> I 
da, 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 da. Wow! Wow! Aaron, are you a uh, pineapple on pizza kind of guy? Actually, no, you're a kebab on pizza kind of guy. Never mind. Chips and meat on a pizza. Sounds amazing, honestly. I still need to find a place. <laughs> Fuck you. I need to find a place that actually does kebab pizzas. Meow. Meow. Not bad. Meow. Result. I will take my earnings and we will get out of here. Anyways, we're now in Italia. Italy! Round Mugello. I love this track. To bits! Bing, 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 bing. I love this song. Wah, 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 wah. We speak in spaghetti now. Yes, we're speaking spaghetti. Spaghetti, mamma mia, pizzeria. <laughs> I have just offended three Italians. <laughs> Two over on YouTube and someone who's watching on Twitch in the background. <laughs> Higher and higher. Higher and higher. Higher. My wife finds out I've replaced our bed with a trampoline. She's going to hit the roof. <laughs> I really like that one. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> oh, I hate having to admit to liking a joke, but fuck. That's a good one. I'm gonna take you higher and higher. <laughs> I never said for you to leave, you just wanted to leave. There's a difference. I still can't believe Sir Fallen is the leader of the Simps. I'm gonna take you higher and higher. The web designer. <laughs> Alright, good one. Good one. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Final lap. Around Magello. I love the fact that Magello's in this game. 
And what's awesome is Magello, I believe, is in every single Forza game. Actually, I'm not 100% sure if it was in Motorsport 5. I don't think I've driven Magello in Motorsport 5 yet. When I was messing around with it. So maybe it wasn't in Motorsport 5 or 6. But it's definitely in 7. Guaranteed. And bearing in mind, Motorsport 7 is better than 5 and 6 combined. Should be fine. I'm gonna take you higher and higher. Higher and higher. I need to try and get uh, Motorsports 7 installed to um, my PC somehow. I'm gonna take you higher and higher. And there we go, 4 minutes and 40 seconds. I think. 439.8. It's close enough. Well, I'm going to get my stuff now. I'm heading out. Actually, no. I'm heading to the next mission. We got ourselves a 2004 Honda Mugen Civic Type R. And we got 10,500 for getting all those done. And I completely skipped that because I'm an idiot. Let's go to the next one, which is going to be the Celica versus Eclipse. We've got to go buy ourselves a car for this. All right, so we're going to be taking part in the uh, Sport Compact Shootout, Road Atlanta Short, Silverstone, Sakuba Circuit. Let's get cracking. All right, here we go. Eclipse GT around Road Atlanta now. I keep holding circle while I'm revving the engine and then releasing it when the countdown is done. Look at him flexing with the most performance car. Yes, but my car also weighs a fuck ton now. It's the heaviest car out of all of these. But who doesn't love a good Eclipse? I don't know why I quite like the Eclipse. Especially the 2006 one. Just because of the fact you can customize the shit out of it. <laughs> That's a fairly good one, Aaron. Oh, getting close to the curb there. Lovely. Yeah, I can smell the hot dogs again. Hot dog. They both start off fun and easy, then get a little harder. If you make it to the end without breaking, everyone is shocked. <laughs> you're not wrong. You always get people when you're like, oh... How long have you been married? Oh, we've been married for 50 years. And you're like, ah, oh, what's the secret? Oh my god, I couldn't imagine. So yeah, you're not wrong, Aaron. You know that. Can I wake up tomorrow and have a midlife crisis chat? Because technically speaking, you never know when your midlife is going to be. So can I not just have a crisis tomorrow and just have it for the rest of my life until I'm like 60? At which point we can definitely say I'm past midlife. <laughs> I'll be here for you. Actually, technically speaking, I probably am already going through a midlife crisis. 
I'm buying so much shit, it's unreal. Cause you know them. Wow. Imagine getting rejected like that. Is that you talking or the wine? It's me talking to the wine. You haven't bought Porsche yet, so you're good. Yeah, I'm not going to buy a Porsche until I'm 50, just to make sure that if that's my midlife, I'll have a long life. <laughs> Fucking pigeon just landed on our roof again. Can you fuck off? I'm not gonna lie, these pigeons are annoying as fuck. Meow. Alright, result. Please do not turn off your Xbox. I don't plan on it. Cheers for the money. Alright, so we're here. Race number two around Silverstone with the Eclipse now. I mean, get off. It's a really bad idea. Because every time I get skittles, I'm really fucking hyper. <laughs> Little bit unstable. Unbelievable. But not wrong, either. Come on, Eclipse. You got this. Lovely. Not too bad. Mmm. I still love how this car looks in, um... Oh, shit. In Dirt 2.
In Dirt 2, they've actually got a, um, like, rallycross body kit. Basically, it's got a nice wing on the back, and it's also got a, um, roof wing as well. Just bef at the top where the, um, actual windscreen ends. It looks stunning. It, they've got, like, a green slime version, I think it's called. And it's basically, like, just black and green. It looks awesome. I would, if I had the skills to actually use any of the livery editors that Falls has ever offered, then by all means, I'd try. I just can't design, put designs on cars with a fucking controller. I need something like Real Racing where I can use a touch screen. Because I'll be honest, Real Racing 3 was a lot easier to put uh, designs on cars than... Uh, what's it called? Forza. Forza obviously allows for more creativity, don't get me wrong, but... It's kind of hard to be creative when you're pretty shit in the first place. That's fair enough, yeah. I've seen the work you can do, Hans, though, and your work is fucking mental. Honestly, I couldn't... The way that you actually made my logo into a thingy on Forza was just crazy. Oh, yay! Level 20! Woohoo! Result. What do we get? Oh, no. We actually get a car this time. We got a 1989 Lotus Carlton. Oh, I'm so disappointed. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day has been ruined. I'm not gonna lie, that's a voxel. It is a voxel. It's got a voxel logo. What? Why has it got a voxel and a lotus logo on it? I was gonna say, it looked like a voxel car. That's why I was like. That's a voxel. And then it's got a voxel logo and a. Let's get going! We got this race to do, and then that is a second episode of today done. And then I think we then begin to move on to the level 15 events, if I'm not mistaken. If you want to change the world, do it while you're single. Once you're married, you can't even change the television channel. That's a fair shout. But. I'm smart. And I, more than likely, in my living room, will have two TVs for that exact reason. But I'll obviously have, like, a 65-inch, like, a big one for my games and my shit. And then I'll buy a smaller 48-inch for her to watch TV. Fucking Hollyoaks, whatever. I don't, I don't know, and I don't care. <laughs> that would be the plan. A wall of old CRTs. <laughs> See, I know when I get my future, the reason why I got this matrix was so that when it comes to me um, making, because I, I have a plan. Um, this matrix, HDMI matrix I've bought is part of a longer plan than just like immediately now. 
Um, because one in hopefully a couple of months time, I'll get a uh, television in this room. Because technically I've only got two monitors, right? And the problem with the monitors is when I'm sleeping in bed. Um, and I want to watch like, I don't know, Netflix. Whatever. Netflix. Amazon Prime. I actually been watching Lethal Weapon. It's a really fucking good show. If you haven't seen it. Um, but yeah, it's it's impossible to watch. Uh, that Matrix is multi-adapt. It's basically just HDMI. So it's a HDMI splitter on steroids. You basically put in four inputs and you can tell those four inputs where to go. And you can even duplicate or mirror or just have one, two, three, four. You can choose exactly where they go, basically. The only thing is, I haven't worked out how to turn on the 120Hz mode on it. Because I want to be able to um, play my... the re One of the main reasons I bought the one that I chose was because it had a 120Hz mode. Which meant I could play my PS5 stuff at 120 frames. And view it at 120 frames, but then could output it to the capture card at 60 frames. Which... Is the way I wanted it to work because that way it means I because if I send um, the PS5 through the capture card it instantly just does not accept the 120 Hertz and it will lock at 60 FPS because you got to search up HDMI matrix it's not just the matrix <laughs> They are quite expensive though. The one I got cost uh, 180 for it, which is pretty, pretty steep. But you can get cheaper ones that take only that take four inputs, but only have two outputs. You can get those for like 60 quid. But I needed four outputs because I have two monitors plus a capture card. No HDMI. You know, like what you plug your TV into. To plug your PlayStation into your TV or whatever. I really hope the next, like the PS5 Pro, has a fucking Display Port connection. Because I really think Display Port looks so much better than HDMI. Yo, Epic, what's up? Epic is the first one in chat. <laughs> Uh, busted. You got beaten. Not bad. And that is this event done. We'll get ourselves another car now. Do, do, do. Wish that I could turn back time. I got a 2003 Toyota APR Performance Celica GTS and I got 10 grand. Woo! -hoo! Let's see what the Celica looks like. Ooh. Okay, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I like it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.